How's it going, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Connor, and today we're back with another episode of Satisfactory. In the last episode, we got everything dialed in over here on our base, uh, including the uh, the, the, sky, the space elevator production line. So what we're making right now, I think it's called smart plating. I think that's what we have in production right now for, for all this, but it's a little slow. It's a little slow right now. A lot of you guys brought up really good points of like these the generators are fine the things that are that are causing problems is the poles so i would just need to make more poles in order to produce more energy for a lot of these things but honestly not really even worried about it uh, but we got another rotor coming out so right now we have uh we got a rotor coming out we have a lot of reinforced iron plates in there which is good i can take those whenever i need them but like, let's go over here and let's take a look at our space elevator right now we have 11 out of 50 of our uh of our smart plating ready to go so we're, we're just gonna keep trucking along keep doing our own thing um while that that kind of like that's gonna be more of like a passive thing for us to do in the meantime, one thing that I want to do is uh, work on uh, what looks like needs to be obstacle clearing. Um, and that is a bunch of cables, some cement, and um, some other stuff, which I have the cement. Do I have cement? I have cement now. Okay. And then cables is a bunch of wire. So let's just grab a bunch of wire. And then we just need to craft a bunch of wire, which is fine. Well, it's only 100. It's not even a bunch. It's not even that much, but then we'll get obstacle clearing and then we can get the chainsaw and with that chainsaw, we get like that upgraded biomass stuff too, to use as fuel. And then all of our stuff is just going to be like lasting forever. So let's put that in there. I have 55 cables right now, so I only need a certain amount left. I can make 600. I think, I think I brought too much copper over, but that's fine. I just need 45 more of this, these cables, which I'll probably just end up making 100. It's good to have those cables anyways, because you use those for uh, for like putting up new poles and, and powering things. So I'm just going to it's always good to have some extra on you just in case you need it. So I'm going to I'm just going to wait. I'm going to make like 100 really quick. It doesn't take very much to make these. So that's always the plus side to making cables. OK, so I made 90. 90 is good. That's fine. Not a big deal. Um, let's throw some copper in here. We'll keep some on us. Um, let's see. What? I need to make screws. How many screws can I make? So let's put the cables in. I need 500 screws. I can make 1,000. Okay. Well, let's just sit here for a little bit and make a bunch of screws. We'll probably end up making like 250. Batches of 250. And then we'll leave and then go do something. And then come back and do another 250. But the reason why we need this is so we can get this milestone done and then move on to the next thing, which is, uh, if we're doing the chainsaw, I want to learn the rebar gun, which I need to, I need to figure out how to make that rebar gun again. Cause that rebar gun is overpowered. It's a, it's a straight up gun. I've never made a gun in this game before. So I'm pretty excited to do that. All right, let's get the rest of these, these screws done. We're at about 170 not too shabby i want to get at least halfway there take a break let my brain refresh from just holding this button down and then get back over to it bailey what are you doing are you being silly right now bailey is being a silly billy today what are you doing what are you doing sweet girl huh all right we're about 270 okay let's get to 300 why not let's just get to 300 take a break and there we go okay we got three hundo so let's drop three hundo in there and then now we can just take a little bit of a break. So the reason why I want to take a break, I want to look the anal or I want to analyze. Gotta be careful with what I say. Uh, I need 50 smart plating, more screws, and um, a bunch of rotors too. Interesting. Interessante. Hmm. That is very interesting. I wonder if I can make. I do need a bunch of screws for that. And what is this? I need a crystal oscillator. What do I need to research that? A bunch of plates. And this I need more sulfur and coal, which I don't have any coal on me. And then this is medical inhaler, which I need a bunch of modular frames. I could also do inflated pocket dimension. You get six inventory slots for carpus and what looks like a wire. 
Okay. And then that's just uh, extended tool belt. Okay. All right. So we know we know some of the things that we want to do. We're gonna need to make like modular frames and stuff like that eventually. But for now, we'll just kind of just kick it. All right. So let's make another two hundred and ninety nine. Uh, screws. So, which isn't that bad. Like, I literally just, like, flew through 300. No problem. So, we'll just make more of these. I see we have copper sheets over there now. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, what is going to be the next milestone that we're going to do? Because we need, we need to have that milestone. That way we have goals. We need to have goals in this game in order to achieve things. But, another thing is, like, I'm, I'm getting kind of nervous about automation and like where I'm going to put things. But one thing I need to remember too is that I can have multiple uh, drills. So the ones, there's like a bunch of iron over like in this area out there that I know would be like best case scenario for making more screws. So, because I need screws, but they're all getting made into whatever it is that they're being made into. So, in the meantime, we'll just be kicking it. Okay, we're almost done with our screws here. Make some more of these bad boys. 288, there we go. 296, 300. Okay, perfect. There we go, and now we can launch that. So now we just learned to make a chainsaw. Nice. It's awesome. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. Right. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage. Additionally, oh, I got more inventory space. Nice. That's cool. Okay, how do I make a back uh, a jetpack though, or a chainsaw? Is it not here? What do I, I assume the equipment workshop. Chainsaw. Uh, I need more screws. That's literally all I need to make a chainsaw, dude. Say less, bro. I'll make a bunch of more screws right now. I, need, I think it said I needed like 150. But I want, I mean, if I can have the chainsaw right away and just start pumping out that that new fuel, that'd be lit. Can I make that new fuel with biofuel? Oh, you do. Interesting. So what I can do is do this and then swap it out. Oh man, but it takes a long time to make biofuel. Good God. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if there's there's got to be a better way of doing this. Um, like I might need to automate it. I might need to automate that, which is fine. Um, okay, let's make the chainsaw. Can't afford oh, three screw short. You can't even. Okay, screw. There we go. Okay. Now we have made a chainsaw. Craft this bad boy. There we go. Chainsaw. Nice. So then, how do I fuel it? So we have the chainsaw. I'm gonna put it in place of my food. And then, how do I fuel it? How does one fuel it? Does it just need to be in my inventory? It just needs to be in my inventory. Okay, cool. How does it, where's the chainsaw part at? Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. <laughs> that was terrifying. Okay, so then what we do is like that. And then how much wood did we just get? Oh my God, we got 90 wood. Oh my God, we got so much wood. Holy crap. Okay, well, there we go. That's easy peasy. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to make a store another storage facility for like uh fuel right like that's what that's what i would need to do to make like a fuel storage facility or like a fuel crafting area which would be smart can i make another pole coming off of this thing or would it need to be off of that it would need to be off of that wouldn't it hmm okay let's do this let's dismantle this cable We'll make another pole. We'll make a central pole right there. We'll have that going to that and that's that will go to that. There we go. And then we'll have another pole out here. And you, sir, will go to that. Okay, there we go. 
<laughs> they're so aggressive. Okay, so then this is gonna be our biomass uh, area. So what we need to do is start crafting, no, a uh, Q. I need to make a, is it a constructor? Is that what, is that what makes biomass? Is that what will make biomass? Constructor? I don't know if it will or not. Crafts one part into another part. Maybe. Well, let's go check our let's go check our constructors over here. Constru constructors, constructors. There we go. Uh, will you make biofuel? Select recipe. You do. Oh, you make bio solid biofuel. Okay, cool. There we go. That's all I needed to know. So I just need to make another constructor. Q. Constructor. I don't have re any reinforced plates. So let's go over here and grab one. From over here. What? What stopped iron? Something stopped iron. I gotta figure that out. Why? Why did my iron production stop? I'm back over there. That's not good. I wonder if it ran out of fuel. Maybe. Reinforced plates. I need reinforced plates. Um. There we go. I'll just take all those. Why did my, why did it stop making fuel over here or stop making iron? Is it out of fuel? fuel? I hope not. I mean, I have I have a ton of fuel for it, but that's that would suck. What's going on? Yeah, these so these don't have power. These must be dead. Okay. There we go. So you sir, yeah, you need fuel. Okay, there you go. All right. So now I got iron going. Okay. So now what we need is to do a constructor um, right here. We'll do a constructor right here. Okay. And what we do is we do a storage bin, storage container. How do I make it in line with that? Okay, there we go. We go from there to there. Okay. And then we do um, another storage container. On top. It's going to be wacky, but it's going to be cool. So then what we do we go from there up to that. How do I... The conveyor belt has an invalid shape. How's that an invalid shape? Uh, encroaching others clearance. Uh, it won't go over this way. Let's just go like this. Just wrap it around like this. And then we'll go from there to that. Conveyor belt is too steep. Rip. So then let's go like from, let's go to there. And this should, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So now we got full, we got full circle here. So then what we do is we go, we'll drop off. Well, this needs to construct um, solid biofuel. Okay. And it needs to be cabled now. Power that bad boy up. And then this needs... Do I have any biomass? I don't have any biomass. Where's my chainsaw? Where's my chainsaw? There we go. The chainsaw, let's get some wood. Okay. And then we take the wood can we put the wood in there? Is that what we want? No, it needs to be biomass. So I need a double constructor system to do this. So this is just gonna make a ton of biomass then. We'll just do biomass wood. Okay. 
And then so that's going to go to that. So I need to have another constructor in place right here next to it. Let's make another constructor. So this just needs to go like... Hmm. I need to make this look okay. That'll be fine right there. And so what we do is we cut this belt. We go from there to there. You, sir, get cable to that. You are needing to make biofuel. And then you go from there to there. And then that should go up and in. And so now what I do is I'm going to go up in here and take all this. Take all this biomass. Put this into here. And there we go. And now we should have a biofuel production line, dude. Look at that. Boom. Dude, that's so big. I didn't realize how big those were. Good God. All right. So now we have like a little biomass storage facility. Which I think is really cool. It'll be really nice to see how this all all comes out. I, I just I need to get a bunch of wood because I need to be able to feed that bad boy. Um, okay, so let's go. Uh, my chainsaw. Let's go get a bunch of wood. Let's cut down a bunch of trees. Let's ruin some animals' homes. It's not what we want to do, but it's what we got to do. That's why we built this chainsaw. I don't think I can't do anything with that one. Can't do anything with that. There was something in there I could do with. Oh yeah, there you can. I was too close to it. Makes sense. Do I get wood for this? A little bit. But the trees is where we get a ton of wood from. Like, like let's go chop down a big tree. And see what we get for it. Because we've, we've been doing like these little tiny ones. But I don't want to chop down a big boy. Like one of these guys over here. And see what we get for it. Because if we get like a ton of wood out of that, dude, it's going to be lit. It's going to be amazing. Let's see here. How much wood did we get? We got 70, or we got 36 wood for that. That's pretty good. The more I get, the better. If anything, what I do is just make, I just get a bunch of wood from this, create the biofuel, and then just take it to, and then like all the leaves and all the flower petals and stuff like that that I get that I just like, all I do is just put it back into, um, I just craft it at that point and make it into biofuel and stuff. What's going on here? Uh, this is out of fuel now, too. What do you know? What do you know? Do I have biofuel for this? I've got solid biofuel, which means I just can't use my chainsaw, which is fine. It is what it is. All right, so let's go drop off the wood into here. It's so dark, bro. Can't see anything. Uh, so let's drop some wood off. There we go. That should be good now. So that thing is pumping out biofuel, then. That thing is crushing the game. Um... What did I want to do? Oh yeah, I gotta learn my next thing that I want to do. Um, I could do jump pads, which are cool. I could do awesome sinks. I don't know. It got extra excess resources. Fear not, this fix it does not waste. This newly developed awesome sink turns any useful part straight into research data as soon as you can supply it. Redeem your fix it coupons here for those. Um, interesting. That was pretty cool. Um, and we have logistics, so this is how we get the next the next belts, which would be nice, because those things fly. So let's do that, 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 and that. Okay. So we started that stuff. So let's see. I need reinforced plates, more rods, and I need more regular plates. Okay. That's fine. I think a lot of my stuff is getting crafted, though. Or it's, like, getting taken and immediately dumped out. So we'll have to see. Like, I don't even know how much is in here. Oh, there's, there's enough in here. There we go. Then what about plates? Is this plates? Hey, we got enough plates, too. Uh, there we go. There's enough plates. And then I just need more reinforced plates, which... In theory, this should have more reinforced plates over here. Everything's good over here, right? Fuel-wise, everything's okay? For the most part? Okay, we just got six more. Which is okay. How many... How, what are we at for the smart plates? That's what I'm curious about. What are we at for this guy? 25. We're halfway there. 
We are halfway to the uh, the because we have what we have is we have constructors to. I don't remember what those are called. What are those called? Assemblers, constructors to assemblers. So that's our best case scenario right there. How are you doing on fuel? Do you got fuel? Yeah, you're good. I was going to make a bunch more biomass. Let's drop off a bunch of these plates and stuff too. Gotta make sure we can have everything for logistics mark T. And then we'll have to upgrade all of our, our conveyor belts to like double up the speed, which would be nice. Okay. Let's drop any of this stuff off. There we go. Okay. So I need, I don't need plates. I just need the reinforced plates now. Can I make reinforced plates? I need more screws. I need 12 more reinforced plates. So let's see if I can make any, any amount of reinforced plates at this point. Just need 12. I don't think I'm going to be able to make 12, but I can at least get close to 12. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. Oh, seven, seven's not bad. Seven, seven's enough to make a difference for what we're doing. So that's good. There we go. Okay, so now let's drop these off. There we go. So now we only need five more, dude. And then we did that was fast. I feel like we just tried to learn that. I want that. I need that thing over there, but I don't know how to get to that. Um, okay. So let's look and see here. Space elevator is getting worked on. Um, so I'm thinking like, what if I just take some screws? Oh, there's no screws left in that whole thing. Whatever's going in is getting pumped out, like, e immediately. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we can just take, like, a thing of rods, I guess. Let's take a thing of iron or of iron rods and then make more screws and then just make the plates ourselves? I guess, I guess that's what we could do. That might be the best thing to do, honestly. Right now in this stage is just, like, to pump Because, like, all the... I need, I need the, the other reinforced plates for the other thing. So let's just make, we just need to make enough for five. That's all we need. There we go. Okay, there's the five we got. We got everything we needed. Easy peasy. One and there we go. Okay. Throw the plates on there and send that bad boy up. There we go. Logistics Mark II have been unlocked. So what do we need for that? To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so it's reinforced plates for Mark II conveyor belts. Good God. St support for conveyor belts can be stacked on other stackable supports. Interesting. Okay, well, there we go. And we have conveyor lift Mark II. I don't think we're using any of those, but it's pretty cool. Transports up to 120 resources per minute. So it doubles the speed of everything, but it costs like an insane amount of reinforced plates. So, uh, that, like to do this entire thing would be like kind of nuts. So, so we're, we're just going to have to, we're at the like wait and just like mass push towards um, reinforce. Let's go check. Ooh, I need to go check our biofuel. I don't know if we're pushing any more out right now. It looks like we are. I wonder how much we got over here. I wonder how much biofuel we have. How much, how much, oh, we have 200? Dude, that's good. That's a good amount. Um, but it looks like it's done, it needs more. So let's go craft a bunch of biofuel and then throw that into the, the storage. Um, so I can make 345, that's okay. Just make a ton of biofuel. Oh wait, no, I have a ton already. I have a bunch in my my inventory, my storage. So I'm just gonna take all that out, and then put that away. And then as we're as I'm swapping out stuff, I'll just take that biofuel too. So like this guy, I'll take that out and put that in. So it takes how much does it take? It only it takes 200 each. Okay, that makes sense. So now we just got like a ton more of biofuel, solid biofuel to throw into here. There we go. Okay. I just made a bunch more biofuel. Well, that's that's going to make more biofuel. What? What's going on here? 
Oh no, that doesn't need the biofuel. That doesn't need this needs the biofuel. Or biomass. This needs wood. This is what needs biomass. Interesting. So I'm wondering if I can do a storage. Hmm. Can I stack? Can I three stack these? And then it would need to merge. I need a merger. This guy. What does the lift do? I still don't know how to use to move resources between floors. So I need it to go from there. How do I get it to go from there down though? Like safe, because I saw that I was able to do it like over the, like to the side or something like that. That's too steep, that's why. So let's do this. Let's do a lift. Let's just do a Mark 1 lift to try it out. I don't know how. Oh. it's Does it go the other way? Can I make it go the other way? Does it only go up? Oh, no. It goes down. But that constructor is in the way. And what do the stackable holes look like? Oh, things back. So then we go from there to that. Encroaching others' apparent uh, clearance, really? I like it shouldn't be. Um. So then we'll we'll do it again. Do another stackable. Go from there. So how is that encroaching others' clearance? That doesn't make any sense. I like that's super far. Is it because it's over it? Or is it because of the, the power pull? Is it like no matter what I do, is it going to be... There's no clearance. There's like no matter what I do, there's just literally no clearance because of that. I think it's because of that pull right there. Let's see. Let's see. Can I can I stack another one? Let's stack one more. Is that clear now? So that clears. So then can I go from that <laughs> to that or to that? Too steep. Okay. Now my question is, can I go, can I make a lift like that? Does that work? And then can I go from there? Uh, that or is that too is that too much can't afford well does this even work no that's not even right that's not even close to being right let's try that again let's 
Let's go, let's make another conveyor belt. Like it needs to be like that. That's right. No, not like that. I need to flip it. I need it to go down, not up. So how do you... Interesting. How do I flip it? Because I want it to be the other way. How do I... I want it to be the other way. I don't want it to be that way. Hmm. I'm, I don't think... I just don't think it's going to work right now. Which is fine. It is what it is. We'll just make some more stackables. It's fine. Let's go like this. Let's do a double stack here. That shouldn't be too steep for the conveyor belt. It's too steep for the conveyor belt, dude. And I can't even afford it, dude. Uh, Alright, let's get some plates. I just deleted my whole facility. I, I cannot believe I just got rid of my whole facility. I, oh, oh, cool. Let's put that back. Um, do I get everything back? Doesn't look like it. Oh wait, did everything, everything went to my inventory. Okay, cool. Oh, oh my gosh. That was, t I thought I just ruined my life right now. Holy moly, that would have been terrible. I can do jump. I can't do jump pads. I just want to get to that. I just want to get space elevator phase one done. Oh, I dude, I legit about threw up right now doing that right now. Like I thought, I thought I was done. I thought that was game over right there. Get some more iron plates here. Okay, should be enough to make this next tier thing. And by tears, I mean my heart. Okay, let's do another stackable. So this needs to be a three high and a little bit, a little bit away. So it's not super steep. Because that's a four. Is that a three high or a four high? That's a four high. So let's do a game and a four. But can I, can I, can I do this now? Yes. Okay. And then from that to that, I need more plates. Okay. But that's doable. It's definitely doable. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now I should be able to. Let's go three. And there we go. Okay. What's going what's wrong here? What's wrong? Am I out of fuel? Yep. Okay, there you go. Now everything's going. So now the reason why now I want to do Organization, foundations. I want to do some foundations. Snaps to foundations to make it easier to get on top of them. Works especially well with vehicles. Interesting. Okay, where's all my cement? Let's go get a bunch of cement really quick. Because I need that for these to figure out these ramps and stuff. Because that that's another thing. I want to like make things look like buildings. Like I want to start doing buildings soon, but it's gonna take a little bit for us to do that, which is fine. Cause like right now everything's kind of just like open planes and stuff, but I want to start enclosing things and making it look super duper nice. And eventually we'll like, while, while we're working on stuff, wouldn't it be surprised if like we just start over, like just like get rid of everything and like refresh everything. Um, to be honest with y'all. So 
I don't need... I don't need it to be eight. That's the thing. I don't need it to be that big. I don't need that much, but... Okay. Let's do foundation. We'll do a ramp. Okay. So then... We'll go from, uh, to there. Then we'll do a foundation and snap that. Then we'll do another ramp. Goes up. And then we'll do a, another foundation. Like that. And then now I can access both this and this one. So this one's gonna have the biofuel in it. So that should pump biofuel out. This is holding the biomass and everything. And then this does not look clean. So let's fix that up. Put another foundation under there. That looks better now. All right, cool. Well, there's our little ramp system up to our, up to our other things. And so this guy is pumping out nothing. There's no, no wood there. Um, but this guy, he's got the wood. He's pumping the biomass out to the merger. And this guy is also going to be merging stuff. And that's going to be going directly into there. I think a smart thing to do, to, I mean, one thing to do to, imp to improve this production would be to do um, Mark II belts, but everything's, everything's kind of fine as it is right now, so... This is making more biofuel. So we're, we're just pumping out biofuel systems now. So there we go. It's got literally just got 267 more biofuel, which is like, that's a pretty solid amount of biofuel, honestly. So let's swap this out for, oh, it has solid biofuel in it. So let's swap this out then for biofuel. There you go. So that's gonna last longer. Okay, let's try, how do the walls work? Do they need to be on foundations or can they snap to other foundations? I need metal plates and cement. Okay, so I need a lot of metal plates. Got it. Let's just test and see how metal plates work. Like, will they snap to the side of foundations or do they have to be on top of a foundation? That's what I'm curious about. Let's see. Let's run over here. We need a lot of iron plates though. Cause like, that's the thing. Like right now, this is all like production stuff. At some point I need to start making just like regular storage facilities that houses a lot of this stuff in between. Okay, so let's do Q. Let's get a wall. So do you, you snap to the sides? Oh, maybe, but if I go to the side like this, yeah, okay, so yeah, so it doesn't need foundations, like regular foundations. Okay. So let's do one by ones. Won't snap to that, won't snap to, oh, that's, that's whack. That doesn't make sense though. If I do, oh, interesting. So now that I did that, can I undo that and it'll keep that one? Yeah, okay. There's a little work around there. So we'll do one by ones. So I just have to do a bunch of these foundations around the sides. So it, it clears. But it should clear everything. I just want to make a building. Let's try to. Approaching others' clearance. Oh, that's going to encroach all that clearance, too, over there. Okay, that's fine for now. We'll have to, we'll have to adjust a lot of the stuff, but I'm just testing stuff out with these walls. So now let's go walls. And then that should be like that, 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 that. Oh, some of those aren't right, actually. I'll have to fix that.
And this is just, like, like I said, this is just like testing how walls work. This is all I'm doing right now. Okay, can I make another foundation right there? I can't because it is hitting the belt. I'm gonna say it's probably hitting that belt right there. Okay, let's go fix these walls. These walls are all wonky over here on this side. I don't know how they got all wonky, but they are. Let's take that off. Take that one. There we go. So then that's, so this is just like foundationally what a, a typical building would look like, like at least for like beginner stages of walls and stuff like that. So, which is honestly for me is like really exciting because like it's going to look really cool. And eventually what's going to happen is it's going to stop going from like these little individual buildings to like one building housing all of our storage. And it's going to happen. There's going to be a bunch of um, like there's going to be stuff coming through it like They'll have walls with windows that allow for tracks to come in and out of. And I'm like really stoked to see that happen. Let's see where we're at for our, what's, what's it called? The smart plates. That's what we need. Let's see where we're at for that. So just hop on over here. How are you doing? You got fuel? Yeah, you're, you're good. There we go. Let's see here. Um, just needs another rotor, which another rotor is hopefully coming in soon. Oh, we got more smart plates right there. Okay, where are we at though for this? 42. We are so close. So next episode, we'll be able to launch the, the first space elevator pod that I've ever done. So... That'd be really, really exciting. I'm super stoked for that, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Videos are popping up on the screen right now, including the last time that I played Satisfactory, a video YouTube picked out just for you. Make sure you guys subscribe and please click that bell icon so that you get notified and never miss an upload here on this channel. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the absolute best. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!